So my name is Mac Joshi. I'm, uh, uh, I work with Schneider Electric in an IoT strategy lead role. Uh, with the ZigBee Alliance, I'm uh, the vice chair and a member of the board and leading the uh, commercial uh, strategy group uh, inside the uh, Project Connected Home IP initiative. The ZigBee Alliance, an organization of companies creating, maintaining, and delivering open standards for the Internet of Things, announced that its Project Connected Home over IP, a CHIP initiative, has formed a team to develop and promote the standard for commercial markets. Within the Project Connected Home or IP, 50 plus commercial leaders are, have been working together to identify how the specification can apply to the commercial market, the one, the one specification that we're building immediately as its version, as its first version, but also to identify the nuances for the commercial market that will be taken into consideration as we extend the, uh, the specification beyond to meet the commercial market's needs. The standard is targeting devices in categories such as lighting and electrical, HVAC controls, access control, safety and security, window coverings and shades, TVs, access points, bridges, and others. So as you can imagine, there are many different applications that need to be controlled and monitored with the fundamental um, uh, outcome of you know, serving the various stakeholders that utilize that commercial building. If I'm a facility manager, obviously I want to, I'm very interested in the upkeep and in the uptime of all the assets inside the building while also doing, uh, managing the energy usage and their energy efficiency uh, within the building. As you know, Despite its roots in smart homes, Zigbee says the project chip standard is well suited to commercial applications as it is being built on market proven solutions and best practices from major technologies to ensure secure, scalable architectures. And then if I'm a service entity that's looking to maintain them and manage the building, in many cases, this could be the installers themselves, right? Uh, and so, you know, what might they be interested in, obviously, in addition to a simplified installation process, is that you have the ability to have automatic fall detection, diagnosis, if you will, and really enhance that serviceability of the building by being able to sort of monitor and adapt uh, the usage of the various assets inside the building. So many of these factors need to be taken into account as we evaluate the use cases uh, for, the, for the building. And so we want to have the right uh, expertise at the table that can bring in uh, their points of view, their use cases, and allow us to make sure they are covered uh, by, the, by the various use cases we're looking at. I, I do not envy you, Mac. You've you've got your work cut out for you. You and all your colleagues on that uh, in the working group. Absolutely, the the, the team is definitely uh, uh, very excited and looking forward to deliver value to many of your readers. You know the way I look, at, uh, the way I think about it is as we mentioned before. Uh, you know, digitalization and IP based connectivity are the mega trends, uh, and and the buildings uh, are ready for us to take advantage of. Uh, of those mega trends, I think to date, more than 50 industry players with commercial focused solutions have aligned to form the project's commercial strategy group. As Mac indicates, the door is still open and others are still welcome at the table. Um, interesting time ahead, uh, so far and much more interesting time uh, ahead. So we'd love for your readers to come join us at the table.